Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue Liquor Shields, Dustly Shirt says it's Massel's Meat Sex. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to go back to the good old USA and a saga involving uh, banker scum and government scum. But before I get to the banker and government scum, uh, let's do a little reminiscing, shall we? Uh, let's remember the economic collapse of 2007-2008. Uh, and uh, one of the things that contributed to the uh, economic collapse uh, that, that we're still dealing with is uh, massive mortgage fraud. And not only massive mortgage fraud, but an industry that encouraged uh, bad underwriting and uh, risky loans. And um, uh, a lot of things came back to haunt us. And of course, the mortgage-backed securities that go along with that. And so we've had a, 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 a lot of problems in the housing. and We continue to have problems in the U.S. housing market. There really hasn't been a recovery. There's been institutional buyers and there's been foreign buyers. And in fact, a new report just came out that said that first time home buyers are at their lowest level in 27 years. And um, no surprise there. But uh, let's get back to, uh, so one of the problems we had was uh, easy credit a lot of uh, money floating around and bad underwriting uh, uh, coupled with mortgage fraud. And uh, so here we are uh, all these years later. And now we have an announcement from the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Uh, and this is what, what oversees Fannie and Freddie and our good banker buddy, Mel Watt. And he is the uh, banker scum who is now government scum, but technically he is uh, banker slash government scum because uh, he works for both the bankers and the government. And uh, so he is uh, announcing that they're going to reduce the minimum down payment from 5% to 3%. And then, <laughs> what a shocker, they're going to ease borrower standards and lower the credit scores that will be acceptable. There's a lot of propaganda out there about uh, how, uh, in some ways, uh, the credit scores are too high now. But they're only too high in the sense that uh, a lot of people have been crushed under debt and their lives have collapsed uh, since the uh, economic calamity of 2008. And uh, now uh, their uh, credit is damaged. You know, so they could potentially continue to be a risk. But uh, uh, for the banks, uh, this, is to, this is another gift to the banks. And this would be a gift to, to the banks because Mel Watt, one reason why he's banker scum because uh, he was appointed uh, by Obama, and previous to that, uh, he was a representative in, in, in his district, was the headquarters of Bank of America. And in fact, 48% uh, of uh, all his uh, campaign donations, uh, Mel Watt, came from real estate and finance. And uh, so he's uh, serving his master's well in his new position. And let's also remember that Mel Watt was the one who uh, almost single-handedly single shot down the uh, bill to audit the Fed that made it uh, pretty much all the way to Mel Watt before uh, the, the uh, bill to audit the Fed was shot down. And so he'll always be remembered remembered for that. And uh, so for the banks, this is great because it's, uh, it's a gift to the banks because it's going to generate, uh, potentially generate more loans and, of course, generate a lot more fees. And more importantly, it's going to generate more securitizations. And, and not only that, it should help. Uh, solidify uh, securitizations that are already in the market and uh, potentially raise their value and, uh, and and then drive up prices. That's another thing they want to do is keep reinflating this uh, real estate bubble, uh, which is, once again, uh, the deflationary forces are there. They're driving prices down in most markets, and, uh, and they want to keep uh, reinflating this bubble. So this is another uh, 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 attempt. Uh, to reinflate uh, this uh, housing bubble. Uh, so for them, uh, returning to normal is returning to the already uh, inflated housing bubble that existed in 2007 and 2008. And uh, one of the uh, results of this, of course, is going to be uh, all the other crap that went along with the last uh, mortgage bonanza, uh, balloon payments and liar loans and teaser rates. and. Um, and a lot of the people that are involved in this, uh, they don't care. They're going to move along, uh, and uh, they're going to make their money off of this. And um, uh, it shouldn't be any surprise either that the banks uh, recently lobbied and, and, uh, and won to have no risk retention on residential loans that are securitized. 
and this was part of the uh, Dodd Frank bill, and uh, it was it was going to require a five percent risk retention in order to cover the potential uh, that these residential loans will go bad, and uh, and then they have to deal with all the securitizations, and then go for, go through this whole uh, rigmarole they went through last time with all these bad mortgage-backed securities. So they want to remove uh, their risk uh, for that, and, uh, and they and they want it apparently. And then uh, to get back to this whole thing about uh, first-time home buyers at the lowest level in 27 years, and this connection with uh, Mel Watt wanting to uh, 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 drop the minimum payment down and then uh, make uh, easier credit. Of course, th their their idea is that the the, the problem with um, home sales is having to compete with uh, institutional investors and that credit uh, is just too stringent. Uh, so they look at that, but they don't uh, look at the fact that, well, it couldn't just be there's lower credit scores, there ma there's massive debt, there's massive student loan debt, uh, there's few job opportunities, particularly for uh, that age group that would be buying a first-time home. Uh, most of those people are living at home still. Uh, it couldn't have anything to do with fiscal policies, uh, policies. It couldn't have anything to do with flat wages, and it couldn't have anything to do with rising rents. How, how in this kind of a, uh, environment are young people uh, saddled with all this college debt, supposed to go out and, and, and buy a house? Uh, so anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, we got Mel Watt, uh, banker book bootlicker uh, extraordinaire, uh, wanting to reinvigorate the uh, subprime uh, mortgage industry, uh, get those bank securities flowing again, uh, get some more money going to his, uh, his banker buddies, uh, like his friends at, at Bank of America, and um, and who knows, you know, something could, could could go wrong. I mean, really, I mean, well, I don't know, what could go wrong, really? I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?